Hey everyone, this is Erin at Custom Splice and today I'm here with Andrew who's going to help us do a synthetic rope conversion on the Warren Pull Ball. Andrew, what tools are we going to need today? Uh, we're just going to need basic tools, a Phillips screwdriver, a 7 16 combination wrench, a 3 16 Allen wrench, and a flathead screwdriver. That's all we're going to need. You use all your existing hardware. There's nothing new other than the rope and fairly. When it comes to rope, we do have a few color options. Definitely yellow, we have orange, silver, red, we also have blue. So let us know what you need. Once you decide on your rope and your fairly, we can get started. So first step that we'll start with is removing the steel line. We'll start by plugging the poles all in, switching it on, switch to out, and we'll start pulling. Helpful too to wear gloves when handling steel cable because of the burst. All right, when you start seeing red on your steel line, you know you're getting close to the end. So start watching at the drum. So now once we got all the steel line out, we're gonna go ahead and switch off and disconnect your power. Now we're gonna remove all the screws that hold the two case halves together. Remove the steel line and the original ferrule. We start off by turning the winch on its side so the switch side is up and you can see several holes around the perimeter and around the handle you'll need to remove before removing the case halves. So once all your screws are loose and free, you can start wiggling the two case halves apart and you'll see you are connected with a wire harness. Do not pull on it and set it down to the side. You can see where the steel cable slides through the drum. For that, we'll use our flathead screwdriver and just get in between the drum and one of the loops. So once your cable has been pushed out using your screwdriver, make sure you remove the little puck. If it falls in, you can just shake it out and push the line all the way back through. Now Aaron's gonna give it a good tug to pull the line all the way free. So once you have the steel cable removed, go ahead and take off those gloves if you chose to wear them. And then get out your 7 16 wrench and your uh, Allen wrench. And your Allen wrench. Let's do it. Might need to use a little force on this part, but it'll come loose, don't worry. So Aaron, what color fairly and broker we got with today? I have chose to go with the silver rope and the black fair lead. Sounds good to me. Since we're using all the stock hardware, take your screw that you just took out, slip it in the counter sunk hole, slip it into the existing mount, and if you need to, you can use the Allen uh, screw to keep it in place and just thread that on, thread the nut on. It already uses locking nuts, so you don't have to go overly tight on these. Once you have your fairly securely mounted, you can take the dead end of your 15 foot rope and simply press it in through where it would come out. We're just pushing it through the drum, pull out a couple inches and tie a simple overhand knot. Pull it back through up to the opening and just lay this side over. Once that's done, we're going to make sure our winch is securely back in the housing. We're going to turn it back over on the side and start putting it back together. Make sure you wash them where your wire harness is going and make sure you don't pinch any wires. Wiggle it back into place. Finish seating this down all the way and start screwing the screws back in. Once you're done tightening up, we'll go ahead and swap over our new hook. So we'll remove our pin. And notice the pin's always on the same side as your clevis. Remove the pin, and we'll attach it to our new line. So we'll go ahead and put our cotter key back in. Make sure you fold at least one side back over. There we go. 
And now you're ready to spool back in. All right, so what you'll do is connect your poles all back up. Flip the on switch. We have a green light, so we definitely have power. Get the power cord out of the way of your spooling winch. We'll make sure we are going inward, reverse, however you orient yourself. And there you have it, a successful synthetic winch line conversion. It works great, thanks to Andrew. Thanks for helping me. Definitely check us out on the link below. You can find customsplice.com and go get our stuff.